So take three. <laughs> okay, we've already got our cams installed, so we're not going to go through that again. All right. Main thing we're looking for number one is our timing wedges. Got to make sure that the pins are the wedges are in. Timing mark on the pin, that line right here, should line up with the top of the deck. Okay, excuse me, let me get in here. Okay, P crank is set to the pin location. Notice it's engraved right on the crank. That's what you're looking for in the field, guys. Pin in the crank. Should line up with this line. That line should line up with the boss just like so. Once you have this pin in the crank, do not rotate the engine. Repeat, do not rotate it. You will cause damage. Okay. Now we're set up to install our cam gears. Idler gear, finger tight, back out one flat. Cam gears, same thing. Finger tight, back out one flat. Ten thousandths feeler gauge right here and right here. Then using light hand pressure, you roll up on this idler gear and take up that gear lash. See how that gear's moving? That's what we're doing. We're taking up that little bit of gear lash. Then we would torque the idler gear, star pattern, 22 foot-pounds plus 60 degrees. Once you torque that, then you torque your cam gear, and that's uh, 100 foot-pounds plus uh, 90 degrees, and our cam injector cam is torqued straight to 110. All right, so let's go ahead and pull them gears back off, put the Loctite on, and run it down. Out first. Well, we didn't tighten it down. Right. Okay, but we got to put the Loctite on these on the, the cams. Yes, What, what's happening there, at some point in the past, somebody put too much Loctite on the cam and a little bit got on the threads of that bolt. Okay. That happens in the field, guys. What you can do, you can take it over to your wire brush, your wire wheel, using a fine wire wheel so you don't damage the threads, and you can clean that Loctite off that bolt. Now, when you put the Loctite on, all you need is a small drop. I repeat, a small drop, okay? A little drop is all you need, okay? Once you put that Loctite on, you've got 15 minutes to complete the task. And this is why I like to do a dry fit first.
25. On the idler gear? I believe it is. 22. Yeah. Plus 60. 22 plus 60. Okay. And this is for your upper idler gear. Star pattern, 22 foot pounds plus 60 degrees. So he's got his feeler gauges in place. Take up your slack, just like you did. And you're going the wrong way. Righty tighty, lefty loosey. Star pattern, star pattern. You gotta go opposite that one. Right there. This one. Okay. Yep. You're doing one flat. <laughs> yeah. You'll ruin your torque wrench. Now, torque your valve gear first. And that's torque to 100 foot pounds plus 90 degrees. Loosen and re then retorque.
Valve, valve. Valve came first. Now that's your injector. Plus 90. You'll probably want the breaker bar for that. Now we gotta loosen it and retorque it. Okay, now retorque it to the same spec. Okay, now our injector cam is torqued straight to 110 foot-pounds. Okay, now remove our wedges. Remove the timing pin. Okay, now we rotate the engine. We want to go at least two full revolutions. Make, as you're rotating, watch the gears, watch the cams. We want to make sure that everything is rotating. Okay, our gears are rotating, we look at our cams, we see our cams are rotating. Okay, so now we know that we did everything right and our engine still rotates.